channel. Today I have another foundation review for you guys. I'm reviewing the Circa Beauty Foundation. This is the Color Balance Liquid Foundation. This, this is the makeup line by Eva Mendez and this is exclusively for Walgreens and Walgreens.com. The price of this foundation was $15 but with 20% off it was only $12. Not really sure if they're still having the 20% off sale but I would just check online or call your local Walgreens and there's 10 shades. There's one fluid ounce. I picked this up in the shade 05 right in the middle which is golden beige. On the display they didn't have the undertones so I recommend going online and just checking to see what undertone that you think you might be because on the display they didn't have the undertones. My Walgreens had the whole collection and I was able to swatch all the shades and I think this shade matches me perfectly. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. There's no SPF. I love the bottle. It's very sleek. It really reminds me of the Dior foundations. It's just a nice glass bottle. Love the packaging and I love that there's a pump. Just gonna show you guys how I like to apply this foundation and how it wears throughout the whole day. And I've been wearing this foundation for a week, so I wanted to give you my thoughts on how this foundation wears on me personally. I have oily, acne prone skin. I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing on my nails. I'm wearing the Sinful Colors nail polish in the shade Real Teal, and this is their silk line. And on my lips, I'm wearing the Ofra Long Lasting Lip good lipstick in the shade Pasadena and that's all I'm wearing. Just reading the back of this, even your complexion and hide imperfections with the silky fluid, expertly developed shades work on all undertones while a soft focus effect adds a subtle glow. The screamy formula delivers instant hydration and blends effortlessly for a flawless finish that enhances your skin's natural beauty. And I am in the shade 05. To begin, I'm priming my face with the Mirabella Face Primer. This has a really nice silicone texture to it. And I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics brush. This is a great brush, especially if you want something more full coverage. I use two pumps of the foundation in the shade 05. It has a neutral undertone with a slight yellow undertone. And I have acne prone skin, oily skin, and hyperpigmentation. And I felt like I needed to use a third pump, but if you don't have any flaws, you can definitely get away with just one pump. And I love how this gives me a natural glow, but without making me look dewy or greasy. It's not a matte foundation, but it's like right in the middle, so it's a satin, which is perfect. I usually go for a super matte foundation, but this one, it just is perfect. And it felt really lightweight, surprisingly. Like sometimes fuller coverage foundations just feel way too heavy, like the Kat Von D one, which is my holy grail foundation, but this one, it didn't feel heavy and all the products will be down below because I missed everything. You guys probably seen me use all these products. Um, to set my face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Universal Invisible Loose Setting Powder. I love this, especially if I'm going to be contouring or applying blush. This makes my blush and contour just stay put all day and it doesn't make it look blotchy. Sometimes I have a problem with that. If you have a problem with your contour or blush, being a little bit blotchy, then try using a setting powder like this. For blush and highlight, I'm using the Ofra Blush Strips in the shade Illuminating. I love the pink shade, it's really nice, and the pearl shaped highlight. And since it's still in the 80s in Texas, I'm setting my face with the L'Oreal Setting Spray. I'm standing right in front of my window. I think this is pretty natural lighting. I'm a little bit more tan than this. Got my leather jacket on. I, got, I just have to run some errands and I will check back with you guys later. Hey guys, so I've had this foundation on for four hours. My hair is crazy. It's so humid outside. I live in Texas and Hurricane Patricia is about to hit Mexico. I don't know today or tomorrow, but it's just been raining all day. It's been hot, still in the 80s. And I did apply highlighter so you can kind of see it, but it still feels pretty nice. The probably just gonna touch up in my t-zone it's just a little bit oily but nothing too bad I mean that's just my highlight you can definitely see my breakout right there and my hyperpigmentation but 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like you can see my pores. I don't know if it was just because I didn't use like a pore minimizing primer, but this is four hours and I will check in with you guys later. All right guys, so I've had this foundation on for 12 and a half hours now and I'm ready to take it off. It's been a long day. It was another hot and humid day. And I did wear this for 12 and a half hours so you guys can see how this wears on my really oily skin. Well, it's not that oily, but I get really oily in the T-zone. And yeah, this is what my skin looks like. You can see my big old pimple right there. And my blush and contour is non-existent pretty much. Doesn't feel too greasy, honestly. Just right here, it feels really greasy. I did touch up twice today. And I used the e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder in the shade Light Beige just to touch up my T-zone area. I'm really excited to try this out in the colder months because my skin is more dry to normal. And I feel like if you have dry to normal skin, you will love this. It just gives you the perfect amount of coverage and just gives you a little bit of glow but not anything where it's super dewy or you're looking like a disco ball at the end of the night. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this drugstore foundation. I know it's a little bit on the pricey side, probably the highest that I want to pay for a drugstore product, but I definitely recommend this product. And that wraps up my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. I usually upload about three foundation videos. So if you love finding new foundations, you should definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. And thanks for watching. Feel free to comment and like this video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.